Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 6. Last episode, we went into the sewers of Silvar and spoke with the people underneath. They were, uh, basically planning to destroy the bridge just west of Silvar in an attempt to stop the Slith Horde from, well, marching into the Eastern Gallery and then marching further south. Which does make some sense, but the people who were telling them were in Fort Avernum and we just discovered it was the Dark Side Loyalists. Kind of a good thing we stopped them. So, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's see what we can do about this place. Drake skin bracers. These are actually pretty useful for protection, but... Mm. Honestly, the various bracers we have are pretty good on their own. And we have so much loot that we need to, uh... Carry some of it on other people. All right. I think I missed a scroll on here. I did miss a few. All right. Let's look around this place. There is also. Oh, hello. Didn't see you coming. You came out of nowhere. Okay. Well, there's still people in here, so you need to kill them. Come on. Ow, 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 ow. Killed one of those wolves. Damn it! All right, healing for yourself. Actually, no, poison him. Damn it! Stop with the healing. She's gonna need a healing. Come on, die. Of course he summoned something. Won't survive this, though. There we go. Got rid of that priest. Oop, no. Alright. Ow. And there we go. Okay. Girdle of Avoidance. We already got one. Oh, some bread. And also, dried meat in a roll. Some more meat over here. Crystal and energy elixir. That must leave to the uh, portal itself. We'll need to go down there in a bit. Let's see, anything in here? Healing elixir. Blessed helmet can be sold. Another stairway down. Interesting. Oh! How did he not notice all the fighting that was going on up out there? Was, and was he fishing? Was he just fishing this whole time? What the hell, dude? Ah, come on. Ha. Ow. Well, we got him. 
Ah, come on! There we go. Oop. Okay. Nothing else of real use down here. Demon! Hello! Did not expect a demon. But we definitely have him. Well, that was a thing. And he had Scribane in here. Ooh, there's a spell book back here. No wonder there was a demon. You have discovered Loyalist Stovall's spell book. It bears the wear of many years of travel. Stovall spent most of his life in hiding, evading countless Empire assassins and bounty hunters. He gained a fair amount of general magical knowledge. You learn tips for more efficiently summoning lightning or calling allies to your aid. Your skill with the spells lightning spray and summon aid increase. Yay! Alright, let's see if we can find anything for the uh, portal underneath. There's something under there we need. Alright, down we go. Well, that's a barrier. Can't go in that way. Hello! Oh, this is, uh... This is interesting. And powerful. And very powerful. This could be dangerous. Oh yeah, this is definitely dangerous. Okay. Now we need to kill this icy wraith quickly before it destroys us. Poison will help. This thing is surprisingly stronger than I expected. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can kill it, though. Affected by the freezing cold. Good job, Ortas. Thank you, Wolf. Or Warg, whichever. Almost got it. And we're good. Okay. That, uh, was unexpected. Completely unexpected. Why do you run all the way over there? Oh, because I clicked on the wrong spot. Ah. Alright, well, there's a couple rubies. What did she drop? A jeweled wand, which we already have one of. That opens up that. I don't know where that goes. Huh. Alright, let's take a look down this passage over here, then. Also blockaded off. Ah, this is how we get in. All right, in we go. You enter the portal chamber, the arrival point for so many Avernites. Amazingly, the portal remains. It is faint now, its power drained, but you can still see it in the middle of the chamber. Something is standing behind it, drawing its power. Something huge, humanoid, and reptilian. Unguarded magic tends to draw pests and parasites sometimes very powerful ones. 
It is busy feeding and has not noticed you. This might change at any moment. And we need spells. And to be safe, because I don't know if it will. You get closer to the massive creature standing by the portal. It is a demon. It stands, arms outstretched, drawing a flow of blue energy out of the portal. Then it drops its arms. The flow of energy disappears. It looks down at you. Urgh, urgh, little mortal. Little ball of flesh. Too much energy. Now I hunger for meat. Die, little weakling. I think you're the one who's going to be dying. You are very tough. That is concerning. Right. Go, my minions! Haha! -ha. Really? Hmm. Right, we need to keep ourselves as healed as possible. The demon starts to glow slightly. It has consumed a great deal of energy from the portal without digesting it properly, so it decides to shed a bit of it. It points at one of you and releases some portal energy. You fade and reappear elsewhere. Ah, crap! Okay. Well, at least the rat is distracted. Right, I think we can get rid of it with... There we go. Alright, and now... Why don't you poison him again? We almost got him. Ow. That's not good. That's very not good. But we got him dead. Okay. You inspect this body. It's a dead mage. Her robe bears the insignia of the Avernite army. Looks like the demon ambushed her from behind. She was probably dead before she hit the ground. Something about the magic in the air here has kept her body entirely preserved. The blood is still wet. It's very unsettling. You respectfully search her. There's something interesting under the body. A scepter. It is about a foot long, intricately carved from a single piece of onyx. When you move it around, the portal seems to sway slightly to match the movement. We found the onyx scepter. And some demon's bile. Nice. Anything else in here? None really look like it. Oh, wait. Knowledge elixir. Yay. Seems like that's about it, though. Can't go out that way, so... I think we're done in here. Let's head back to Silvar. Report in, and, uh... Yeah. Plus, we have things to do back at the castle as well. Before we go under, though, I have things to sell. So many things to sell. Yeah, sell it. There we go. We have a lot of coin. Oh, that's good. That is very good. Alright. Let's head in here. Somewhere in here. Alright. Uh, Wetzel, I have been to Fort Avernum. You've been working for Rogue Empire soldiers plotting against Avernum. You tell the whole tale to Wetzel. He doesn't want to believe you, but the details of your story ring true. The other refugees who would prefer to leave are even easier to convince. Wetzel shakes his head. I only wanted. I am a true servant of Avernum, and when you are hungry, it is harder to think. 
We will stop what we have been doing. Tell the mayor. Tell whoever you want. But remember this. We are not dirt. The refugees are hungry and terrified. You have earned more time with your actions, but that is all. Well, at least he, uh, understood that he was doing it for the wrong reasons. Hopefully that was enough. Alright. Come on. Let's get... Really? Thank you. Uh, Alright, Mayor. There were some suspicious characters at Fort Avernum. They are dead, and Wetzel will behave now. You tell the whole story to Mayor Augustus. He looks both pleased and concerned. You have done very well, but... Assassins from the Empire. Dark side loyalists still alive. Here. This is something to tell the castle about. But it is not your problem. You can report success to the castle, and you must be rewarded. You are brought a large satchel of coins and a silver charm. And hopefully we will have even more good news soon. We all do, I think. Is there anything else you need? I... There is much I can, so much I can do, but the guard is jealous. They have been whispering. They say I am trying to replace them. But I shouldn't be consorting so much with outsiders from the castle. So just go. I will deal with the situation here. Thank you. Good day. He waves you off. Of course. Glad I could do what I could do. And there must be a pylon around here somewhere. Where? I feel like it's probably out here somewhere. We'll probably find it in, like, the next episode. We did level up. Michael, level up your endurance. Next level, you'll level up your endurance again. And Rika? Hmm. Arcane Lord of Ten. And magical efficiency to five. That works. Right, let's go to the nearest pylon I know of. Down here. And report in. With all the things we have to report in, we have like three quests to turn in. And around here. To the castle. Also, I think you can actually teach us spells that we need. Yes, you can. Perfect. A lot of improvement to the spells we use all the time. I approve. Now, before we go in, there is one more thing to look at. Well, first, we may as well report into you. Lark, I have your own acceptor. She takes it with great reverence. You may have done a Vernum a truly great service today. I will make sure that the appropriate wizards get this immediately. She walks out to the hall to unlock a storeroom. Help yourself to what is in there. An artifact valuable enough to save, but not enough to take but not to take to the surface, even if we could. You are very adept at this sort of thing. If you wish to continue your new calling, let me know. Sure, I'll help you gather more. Good, your timing is excellent. An artifact of exceptional value and historical significance has been lost. It must be recovered. I speak, of course, of the Orb of Thralni, the glorious sphere that has granted the gift of flight to many an adventurer. And then some soldiers took it for a mission only a few weeks previous and lost it. And I suppose their own lives as well. It must be recovered. It can help me fly. It can. It works on single individuals or small groups. Once it was thought that it could even work on six individuals. More recent research revealed oddly that the limit was actually four. Whichever. Its uses for missions of stealth were limitless. As long, of course, as it was not lost. And where is the orb? It was carried by a small group of raiders on a mission to assassinate some Slith warlord. They left from Almaria and used the orb to fly upriver. What madness. Four warriors against the whole Slith army? Certain death. And such a waste of our precious and unique orb. Perhaps if you ever went up the river north from Almaria, you can find traces of their passage and discover where their remains landed. Up river. So, up here somewhere? Oh, boy. Let's see, one of these. Ah, there we go. We got... Knowledge Brew. Huh, when did we get this temperate necklace and a pearlescent band? That gives a bonus to pole weapons. 
I like that. And that would give fire and gold resistance. No, no, actually, this can go on you. Alright, and this pearlescent band. Plus two to pole weapons, plus one to sharpshooter. You know what? You can take it. You can wear the shadow band. And these two will be sold. And here, among the items Lark wants to evacuate to the surface, you find the spellbook. You browse through it, examining the powerful rituals within. You're only able to decipher one of them, but it is very valuable. You learn how to create a cloak of energy that will make your spells more powerful. Cloak of the Arcade! Oh, very nice. Probably one of the best spells we can have. Alright. Now let's go report in. We may as well, since we're here. Ah, uh, yes. Levitt. I've taken care of the problems in Silvar. Levitt listens to your reports. He takes no notes. In the end, he said he nods. Fair job, although I doubt that all of the chaotic elements were eliminated. Oh, well, they will not escape justice. You are effective, but not efficient. Work on the other two tasks. If you're running low on supplies, report to the quartermaster. Effective, but not efficient. Don't worry, we'll work on them. <sighs> At least we got a small compliment. Let's see if the quartermaster does have anything for us. Per diem. More supplies. No. Alright, let's uh, sell these things. There we go. And one more thing to do. How close is it? It's closer to Nas, but we can run from here. The Fisher Post. Because we did find that uh, Empire Traveler's daughter. So we may as well let him know. Let's see, where is he? Adelard. I have news of Holda, Adelard. She is alive in Silvar. The news fills him with joy, as you expected, but he is still reserved. That is joyous news. There is indeed hope that my life is not entirely ruined. Holder is... Her head is level, that one. I am sure she can keep herself safe, even until the great portal is rebuilt. But I cannot rest easy for a moment. Now my son, my poor foolish Herwin, he is lost. Uh, oh, I am sorry, I almost forgot. Adelard honors its debts. He removes a ring from his finger and hands it to you. I hope this is fair payment. It is a strong, protective charm purchased before my journey here. Herwin is gone? Tell me more. That foolish, foolish boy. Since he was young, his head was full of lies about adventure and heroism. That is why he wanted to come down here, you see. To see, place, to see a place where heroes were real. And now he has slipped away, wanting to actually indulge his mad dreams. And someone has to track him down and bring him back before he gets himself killed. But first I have to learn where he has gone, and as before I would pay well for that knowledge, if you can find it in your heart to help an old foolish father who has made a horrible error. Any idea where he went? He left me a note, short, simple, saying what he wanted. He said only that he was going to some place in Avernum where all the wild spirits and free men go, whatever that means. Can Herwin defend himself? I won't lie. He is brave and genuinely skilled with a blade. And not stupid. But those features can only take what's so far in this cruel, capricious world, as I'm sure you understand. Great. So he ran off somewhere, we have no idea where. No idea where to even start. Anar! Why do you have nine thrown missiles? When did that happen? Maybe I should give you Jeff? No, no, that would be a stupid idea. But what are we going to level up? Um, I like first aid. No. Nah, you know what? Improve your endurance a bit. I think that works. Yeah, you can't carry javelins or the like. <sighs> okay. So. We found Holda, but Herwin ran off. And we don't know where to. 
Fantastic. Well, hopefully we'll find him in our travels. For now, though, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll uh, start exploring a bit further in other directions. Maybe, uh... Maybe we'll try to find our way north a bit. Or at least west to Kotra. Kotra, Fort Dovno. We'll at least explore this area up here, around Silvar. But that's going to be in the next episode. So, until then, I am Chester44. That is Ortas, Michael, Amar, and Rika. This has been an Avernum 6 Let's Play. And I shall see you all next time.